Okay. Um, oh, I'm not quite sure where I got up to before I had to um, take my phone call. Um, I've actually taken a photo of... We're calling the baby BB, by the way. So if you hear me refer to this BB thing, it's the baby, who currently is 5.4 centimeters long. Apparently doing really, really well. Um, has all the right things. They do, with the scan, they check. So fluid behind the neck. So the measurement was just fine. Um, they They said that with um, Down's babies that in an ultrasound they won't be able to see a, to, there should be two lines for the for the nose and with the Down's babies you won't normally see the second line and they could see it and that was great. Um, it was like bouncing around like I was on a trampoline or because I was like oh does it have hiccups or something it's just boom 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 Ooh, it was quite funny. It was just flopping about and it was just kind of lying in this little concave part. I don't know. It was, it was kind of crazy. You just see its leg flopping up and then flopping down. And it's, um, it would turn, it would turn and everything. So it was really amazing. And they put out its bladder and um, its heart and they did a few little things to see this. It was incredible. You could see the systems. You could see the blood flow where it was coming from the placenta and everything. Um, and it really didn't take that long. And it was, I was expecting it to be a really cold gel, but it wasn't. It was totally comfortable. It's quite low. It's, it's below. So, um, where they did the ultrasound was probably right between my pubic bone and my belly button so it's quite low still um I honestly thought that I was just going to see a blob I was a little worried um and we were sending out these onesies to um uh Dal's brother in the in the country and I'm like are you sure you want to send these out what if we go to the ultrasound and there's nothing there <laughs> And the mo, you know, we didn't have the dating scan, and you know, it's just something. I'm just, I'm just really run down. Maybe the tests were wrong, or something like that. So I, I didn't know what to expect. I was half expecting not to see anything, and then it was very a wide view. They end up um, uh, magnifying it quite a lot, or zooming in quite a lot. Um, but to start it with, yeah, really wide out, and I'm like, oh my god. It, that's for real. I can see it. You know, it really it took me a split second to figure out what was what. Um, I'm sure I would have had a lot more difficulty if it was a dating scan. I probably wouldn't have seen anything. Um, so yeah, BB is doing great. And from the photo, you can see the teeth buds even. They're the kind of highlighted white of a hand. And the the head is gigantic. <laughs> I hope that just means I'll have a really fantastic intellectual brain. Very smart. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, it has everything that it needs to have and moving around and they were just really happy with it. Happy with all the measurements were just fine. Um, I haven't put any weight, which I was sort of surprised about, just because my eating habits have changed so much. It's hard to go, it's hard for me, like, I don't usually, I don't weigh myself, ever. Um, I don't know, I, I don't know the scale. So, normally when you eat, you know when you've had a period of time where you've, um, eating a lot and you're probably going to put on a little bit of weight. I'm not focused on my weight, but it was just funny because I was, I've been eating such odd hours and odd, you know, I'm just grazing all the time and, you know, I couldn't tell like where I'd be at and I can't, I can't fit clothes around, you know, my normal clothes around my belly. It's uncomfortable. So I was really surprised that I really, you know, I was still, I've got a bit of a marker and I'm still under that marker. Um, so I, I haven't put any weight. It's really just fluid and it's just, yeah, it's kind of bizarre. I don't understand how that works. It feels like I really was thinking I'd put on, a, you know, 
even just one or two kilograms, but no. And I haven't been sick. Nausea sometimes, but I have to just keep grazing. So that's it. This is kind of, this is the one that's going to go to my mama. And so they've all been, the ones that we're actually doing now, but before they were just, we just gave them to them when they were over at our house. But this is for my mum, so a little onesie all done up. So it's like this. Yay. And then I've rolled it up and just tied it up like that. And so we're going to go over to my mum's house on Monday. And we'll have, because we got a complimentary DVD. We can't hear the sound, which kind of sucks a little because there's, it's basically the whole majority of our appointment. Uh, uh, so we've got the DVD, but no happy, it's just vision, and, um, it's not the most entertaining, fantabulous movie that you'd watch over and over, but it certainly is an amazing keepsake, so, um, thrilled to have it, and we'll show it to mum, and, um, I think my brother will be there as well, so we'll, um, give them the, uh, the onesies, and put on the DVD, and, We'll have a lot more information. People that we've told only very recently were like, we haven't even had the scan yet, we don't know what's going on, but here's a onesie and just don't say anything. So when I'm telling my mum, although she is going to be the last person to find out um, of our immediate family, um, that's not all, we might, there might be other immediate family members that find out on the Monday as well, but um, they're gonna, mum's gonna have all the information and we're gonna be a little bit more excited because we can tell people and I haven't told my work yet, my boss was away, he's been off sick the last couple of days, just like me, um, and I've got to figure out a way of telling him because I'm a bit strange with kind of, hi, how you doing, I'm pregnant, um, I don't know, I just feel, <sighs> Probably just me being really immature or something. I'd much prefer to give him something and go, I'm pregnant. Um, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'm sure something will come about. But I've got my hospital appointment on Wednesday. So I need to tell him before Wednesday because... It's not going to be such, such an issue me taking the time off. I just, out of courtesy, I'd prefer to do it earlier rather than later. Um, so, yeah, it's just a really crazy week. I'm not feeling brilliant. I came down with a cold. I think it's just because I've been... Actually, I actually think it's because I've been doing a little bit too much exercise. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, I've just been doing... Just incidental exercise between home public transport, public transport, work, and then return. It's been apparently too much. So um, as much as I've, I've really minimised. Like I was supposed to pick up my ring from the jeweller um, today and I had to call them up and say, I'm really sorry, I'm not feeling well at all, so I won't be coming in. And that's such a cop-out. I'd be like, whatever. But I'm like, well, I've actually got three appointments tomorrow. I'm doing remedial massage, so I've got three appointments booked tomorrow, and I need all the energy I can get. So we might even have one of our close friends coming over tonight, and we're going to tell her. But I'm just like, you know, I was saying to Dale, well, I'm going to go rest now, and yes, I want to see her, but just so you know, I may just go to bed soon after she arrives. <laughs> Um, but we do want to tell her before, like, the complete masses find out. Um, and on that note, apparently I should really be in bed now. <laughs> I need to go to bed. Uh, so yeah, this is my first pregnancy vlog. It is week 12 today. It is Friday. My weeks change on Friday. Baby is 5.4. And I will, so I don't know when I'm going to put this up, it might be a few days actually, but um, I will have a fair few videos coming on after this um, from relatively early on, I can't remember how early on.